Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to look at how we can use the energies that this week brings to us to lay a really good foundation for ourselves in the coming year. Since this is near the beginning of the year, we can set things up now to make it a wonderful year. Okay, the combination of thought and spirit are big this week. We've got two cards from each of those suits. We also have a good grounded card right in the middle. So what this tells me is that the dominant energies for this week are combining our thinking with our spiritual focus and making sure that we ground that into practical applications in life. So that's kind of a theme for setting up the coming year. I think it's a great theme because when we think and we connect with what's bigger and we ground it, we do tend to ensure our own success and well-being for ourselves and those around us. So one of the energies that's big this week is consultation. Be sure that when you don't know how to do something, you check with somebody else who does know and get their input so that you can have some insight heading into it instead of having to play guessing games with anything that you're approaching in your life. Whether it's a task or it's an emotional dynamic or it's something you're trying to learn, maybe it's a new spiritual direction for yourself. Talk to people who already know about it and get some insights into where you can go with it that way. Also, this is a week to pause a bit. When we pause, we're pacing ourselves. We're making sure that we can maintain our momentum over the long run instead of wearing ourselves out. We're also making sure that we do things in timing that works for whatever we're doing by pausing and slowing ourselves down when we're moving too quickly. Opportunity is big this week. That sits right in the middle of the week and it grounds all of these other energies. And what opportunity tells us is that no matter where we are in life, no matter what's going on, we always have options. There are always doors and windows that are open to us so that we can go in another direction or add something new into what we're doing. We also have finish in here this week. And what that means is simply finish. Finish what you've started. Any projects or thoughts or studies that are incomplete, go ahead and work on getting them finished up. Make sure that you cross the T's and dot the I's and make it done to the point where you don't ever have to worry about it again. Adventure is toward the end of the week this week. Open yourself up to things that you've never done before. Open yourself up to things that excite you new places to go in your mind or your heart or your body or your soul. Be open to what may come that you don't know about yet and embrace it as an adventure. So in summary here, because we're looking at this from the perspective of establishing our foundation for the coming year to make it a great year for ourselves, make sure as you move through the year When you come up against things that you don't fully understand or know how to do, talk to somebody who does have some insight about it. Don't try to do it all on your own. Pace yourself. Pause when you need to pause to slow yourself down, to catch your breath again, or to let the process move at its own pace for a while. Keep your eyes open to the opportunities around you and stay aware that you're never stuck in a corner. There's always another route that you can take. Complete what you begin so that you can mark it off the to-do list and get on to something else. And experience your life as an adventure. This entire year is a wonderful time for you if you make it so. 
Have yourself a great week this week and enjoy setting your foundations.